konnichiwa, hello my name is Mickey and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I've been doing for my makeup the past couple of weeks. This is a time where I want to wear the least amount of makeup because you're sweating in your mask. Also it's really hot outside because it's still the summertime and so I just kind of want to share with you guys a very quick way that I've been doing my makeup just so whenever I go to the grocery store run a couple of errands. So if you guys are new here or you enjoy my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also don't don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when my videos go up and of course my disclaimer if you are super sensitive to profanity or if you are easily offended this is not the place for you I'm a no filter bitch and I have no idea what's gonna come out of this mouth so keep that in mind while you're watching so if you guys are interested in how I've been doing my makeup all throughout this virus and the summertime then just stay tuned I am so sorry that you guys did not get a video last week my husband and I went on a very very short trip to Tennessee we had to go there for my father-in-law wedding and let me just say you guys oh my god it was so freaking hot I am not used to humidity anymore because where I live in the state of Washington humidity usually doesn't go over 35% and in Tennessee where my father-in-law lives he doesn't necessarily live in the middle of nowhere but it's about 30 minutes away from Clarksville Tennessee if that gives you kind of you know an image of where that is it was just so fucking hot it would be like 80 to 80 something degrees plus humidity making it like 90 something and we were helping with a lot of the wedding setup because it was a DIY wedding there was not a lot of time to really relax but the times that I did get to relax I absolutely just fell in love with Tennessee it was just so beautiful and relaxing and calming at night I was like falling asleep outside listening to the crickets the frogs the cicadas just all kinds of nature noises it was the first time in a long time that I was able to see basically all the stars and shooting stars uh, my husband and I were able to see uh, I believe it was Jupiter it was just so Oh my god you guys it was just absolutely amazing out there and honestly i cannot wait to go back my husband and i are planning a trip during the fall time to go back because uh, again this trip was not uh so much of a relaxing trip but more of a you know help with the wedding and kind of just a celebration time so we plan on going back in the fall to do a little bit more relaxing if you will and also it's not going to be as hot as dick <laughs> during the fall time so that is why you guys did not get a video last week i was just extremely busy and i was so anxiety ridden because we actually decided to take our dog lilu um i was able to get some emotional support paperwork and let me just say she actually not only helped me but she really helped my husband just kind of through the whole trip and so we plan on taking her back with us as well um, in the fall time and she just absolutely loved my father-in-law's land it's super huge and he had two of the most adorable boxers and they just absolutely loved playing with Lulu and so I cannot wait to go back I think my husband and I plan on moving there because I just could not stop just wishing that that was where I lived instead of here in uh, Spokane Washington so Mouthy Mickey here once again I'm sorry I just get really chatty when I feel like I haven't filmed in a while and I haven't filmed and I feel like I just got a lot to share got a lot to share but anyways let's go ahead and start with the face recently I have been loving this sunscreen from PewDieTal this is the Centella green level safe sun SPF 50 now if you are a woman of color or you have a little bit more tan skin and you cannot get away with other sunscreens that leave that white cast I totally absolutely 100% recommend this sunscreen because you will see once I put it on my face that it just absorbs and it is a very light consistency you don't feel like you're putting on a bunch of white you know tinted sunscreen that's thick and greasy and just doesn't really sink into the skin but with this not only has it really helped with my acne kind of calm down because there is centella in here which is great for acne and for redness but I just love how this actually absorbs into the skin doesn't leave a white cast to me I'm not really worried about white cast just because I am very pale and so it doesn't really make that much of a difference if anything it helps cover a lot of my redness whenever I am wearing kind of like a white cast 
glass sunscreen, but I do not like the way they feel because they are extremely greasy. They sit on top of the skin. They don't absorb. But with this one, it is absolutely amazing. It's so easy to apply. Again, it absorbs very well. And if you don't want that white cast, you definitely want to try this out. And I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelids here because no one has come out with a eye safe sunscreen so i don't know if this is eye safe but this is what i do because i'm one of those people who just need sunscreen from head to toe now the next thing i'm going to do is my brows now for my brows i have just been making it very very simple on myself i use two products and that's it i've used these all the time but recently i don't know why i just like the combination so i have the nyx fill in fluff uh brow pomade here and then i have of course the uh european wax center brow fection stay put brow pencil if i will actually alternate between these two or i'll put the fill in fluff first which is in the shade espresso and i'll put that in in the beginning on my brows and then I'll use the European wax center kind of towards the end because this is a little bit more darker than I would like as opposed to the espresso color so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my brows real quick speed through this process and then we'll go in with the next couple of products Baby, it's I should probably head back home but I'm afraid to be alone what do I need to do to get some time with you? I'd rather be half involved and missing all of you. So I know my brows look a little fucked up and janky, especially uh, this one over here, but I've been doing this because it's just a lot faster for me. Just the process is to really just do my brows however I want. So kind of messy like this. And later on, I'll either go in with this, uh, what is this? The Sigma Cut Crease E62 and I'll clean it up either with foundation or I'll just simply take my fingers and just kind of trace my brow shape. Most of the time I will just use this brush to kind of trace around my brow. There's nothing on this brush at all whatsoever. I will add some foundation for when I'm going around the brow because lately I've just been so messy with my foundation. I can't really get in between my brows here without uh, a small brush kind of like this. I just really, really like this because not only do I get the shape of my brows back, but it cleans everything up a lot nicer and I don't have to worry about my foundation getting on it because I'm going to be using this brush for around my brows anyway. So as you can see, my brows look a lot better now. Those are my brows. It's very, very simple, very easy. I like doing it this way just because even though it is messy, I can clean it up and it's done. It's one and done basically for me. I have my sunscreen that's been sitting on here for a little bit. So now we're just going to put on foundation. The foundation that I've been using religiously for like the last month is the number seven protect and perfect perfect advance all in one foundation. I really love this stuff because it gives me light enough coverage to where it's not cakey, it's not thick, it's not all over my mask. Now this says that it's medium coverage, but I feel like it's more on the light medium coverage. If you want to build it up, you can, but I only put one layer of this because again, I'm wearing a mask. I don't want a lot of makeup underneath my mask because that's how you get mask me. And I've actually been getting a lot of that right here, as you can see, because I had to wear a mask the entire time that we were in the airport, that we were on the flight. So for about eight hours on one day I was wearing a mask and then eight hours for another day straight I was just wearing a mask and so I have a lot of mask me going on and so I just don't want to add a lot of makeup because it's going to add to the acne because there's more things that are suffocating your skin. This is in the shade porcelain. I also love this because there is SPF 50 in here and your girl loves a good foundation with some SPF in it. So I'm just going to put that much here on my face and then I'm gonna grab my flat top kabuki brush just kind of smudge it in there rub it in there in circular motions just because this kind of melts with your skin and I just really really love it you guys I am getting so fucking dry ever since I got back we got back on Monday it is now Thursday and my skin is already dry like my skin was just loving the humidity there because I am originally from a place with you know a lot of humidity and my skin has never ever been this dry before in my life so after we've been here back for a couple of days our allergies started acting up like I didn't have to use my inhaler the entire time I was in Tennessee as soon as we hit Seattle and got off the plane I had to use my inhaler my husband and I both had to use um, our inhalers because it was just so bad our allergies here are bad um, my skin hates the weather here and the climate here. It just cannot stand it at all. I would much rather have oily skin 
than dry skin because dry with dry skin foundation just doesn't sit on it very nicely with oily skin you can kind of do things to keep the oil at bay like a good primer and a nice light setting powder but with dry skin you're working with texture that you necessarily can't get rid of until your skin heals and that's what i'm working on right now is a lot of my skin has just become extremely shitty since I've gotten back and it's become very, very dry. So now I have to deal with all this added texture on my skin as well as the dryness. And you know, whenever you're putting on foundation or concealer, a lot of the time foundation gets caught on that stuff. So it really, really sucks. But with oiliness, you don't have foundation clinging to your oily patches, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like being oily is much better than being dry, like I am right now. All along here, I don't know if you guys can see, let me scoot up closer. You can see it's very textury, very fucking dry, and none of this was here when I was in Tennessee. All this dryness here just started coming up literally on like Tuesday or yesterday. Now I'm just gonna take my little Sigma brush and add foundation to the parts where I can't really reach with the flat top kabuki which is between my brows and kind of around my brows and then I'll go ahead and do the rest of my head with the kabuki brush but for right now I'm just kind of tracing my brows so I get a little bit of coverage all right so next we're gonna go in with some concealer I have been loving this concealer this is the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish I love this because it is very very hydrating now I have this in the shade fair rose which is a little too pinky for my taste but I don't put a lot of this at all I have been putting as minimal makeup as I possibly can just because there's no point in having a crap ton of makeup on right now especially when my mask is gonna hide most of it anyway but I do like to have bright and under eyes so all I do is I just add these little two dots and then I take my little mini real technique sponge that I mentioned in my makeup uh, tools must-haves but I actually found that real techniques sells these little mini sponges in a set by themselves so I'm really excited about that because then I don't have to buy the set because I don't use the other sponges but I just love this little teeny tiny sponge to get under my eyes and around my nose area that's basically all I'm gonna do for my under eyes now whatever's left on the sponge I'm just gonna kind of put that on my eyelids here there's really not that much on the sponge at all but I'm just doing this to kind of make everything blend together now that that's finished I am going to take my tried and true my favorite setting powder this is the number seven perfect light pressed powder I have used this I don't even know how long I'm gonna get a, I'm going to have to get a new one soon because you can start to see the shape of the pan in the middle this I have kept in my purse been using it over and over to reset my face while I'm out and I just love this with this foundation like these two together are just the ultimate holy grail for me for the summertime and for light makeup because this just sets the foundation so well that it doesn't give you any more like added dryness and it's also really good to use throughout the day if you are an oily gal or guy you can use it on your t-zone i use this to reset my face whenever i'm out doing foundation reviews there are times where in the foundation review i'll mention hey i had to reset my face this is what i reset it with i usually just take a brush like this and just reset the areas that i need to reset i'm going to take my elf small tapered br is this a small tapered brush yes my small tapered brush and i'm just going to set the entire face i have very minimal powder on here i'm not adding a shit ton of powder i'm not doing any of that baking crap i just want a very very light amount of powder because again i am super dry crusty flaky right now and I don't want to add too much, especially like right here. Oh, I don't think the camera's picking it up because I'm a little far away. But right here, this area has just been so fucking grody. I can't stand it. I'm just so glad that the mask covers majority of the crap that's going on on my face. But again, the majority of the crap on my face is from the mask. So it's kind of a catch-22 for me because... I get to hide it, but it's also causing this nastiness to occur on my face. I hope you guys know, masks are a one-time use, okay? So I see a bunch of these people driving around with their masks, like the disposable masks hanging on their mirror. That's fucking nasty. As soon as you use a mask for the entire day, you need to dispose of it and you need to get a new one. That's also why a lot of people get mask knees because they're using the same fucking mask over and over. And that to me is just absolutely disgusting, you guys. I use a cloth 
mask like a homemade mask but every single day I go out with that thing I wash it so today I'm gonna run some errands I'm probably gonna be wearing that cloth mask as soon as I come home I will put it in a little mesh bag and throw it in the washer that's it you do not wear a mask more than one day at a time so if you're wearing a mask and you go to the grocery store you run errands and you're wearing one of the disposable ones and you hang it in your mirror you're literally collecting other bacteria on that mask and the next day you put it on you're transferring that bacteria essentially to your face which is why you get mask me so if you're using disposable masks please for the love of fucking christ throw it away after one use that doesn't mean every time you go to a different store get a brand new mask no set a mask aside for that one day at the end of the day get rid of it get a new one i understand masks here are very expensive i have no idea why because back home in japan you can go to the 100 yen store which is essentially our dollar store and buy like a five pack of masks for 100 yen so that's a dollar so i don't know why they're selling like you know 10 masks for like 15 dollars i'm just like what the fuck so you're better off making those cloth masks at home and keeping like four or five of them that way you use one you toss it in the wash you have another one that's clean and ready to go please do not wear your masks more or longer than one day they do not need to be hanging on your mirror or stuffed in your purse or your backpack please dispose of them after one use especially if they're the disposable ones cloth mask please wash them after one day of use like this is why people are getting masks from you guys just get rid of the mask today i don't feel like putting on blush i really don't feel like putting on bronzer i really haven't been putting on those things very often anyway because when you wear a mask you don't really see the blush you don't really see the bronzer you may see a little bit of the contour but am i really worried about my contour when the mask is hiding most of my face anyway absolutely not so a lot of the times i just set my face and this is about the most makeup that i'll put on now i'm gonna go on with some mascara because everybody sees the eyes you gotta put some kind of makeup up there a lot of people aren't really wearing makeup or really uh caring about wearing makeup which is totally fine if, i mean i wish i could get away without wearing a single speck of makeup on my face but because i have all of this going on i have to do something you know or i just don't feel really comfortable going out of the house so as you guys saw i curled my lashes and now i'm going to put on mascara i have been loving this mascara endlessly ever since i got it i i just put it in my cart because i needed an extra like so much dollars for free shipping i think from ulta and so i got the milani the waterproof one this will not budge smudge run none of that i actually wore this on the wedding day for when we were in tennessee it was hot as all balls it was humid i was sweating everything else on my face was running but my mascara a lot of mascaras out there that say waterproof they're really not waterproof and by the end of the day a lot of the time i have black dots on the top of the hood of my eyes because my lashes get lengthened to the point where they start touching the hood of my eyes and then that's where they start smudging and you know essentially running and a lot of the time i get mascara here on the corner this did so great during the humidity, the hotness, all of that, the leakiness, the wetness, the sweat, everything. It stayed on my eyes perfectly and I, I just absolutely love this. It also really separates and lengthens your lashes. I feel like this is the one. I know it says it's the waterproof one, but I feel like this mascara is just the one for me. Like it just lengthens, it keeps its curl for most of the time and it doesn't fucking smudge like at all. So if you live in a humid area, I definitely recommend getting the Milani the waterproof one. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this guy. Now, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you guys will know that I have always been looking for a mascara that not only will keep a curl, but lengthen my lashes and separate them. I feel like that's not a lot to ask, but a lot of mascaras, they either add volume or lengthen or keep a curl. They can't do uh, multiple things at once. But this one, you guys, look at this. If you guys have watched me for a while, you will know that I have very Asian, short, stubby lashes that just do not keep a curl whenever I put mascara on because it really just kind of weighs the lashes down but look at this like I'm just looking straight into the camera and I can just 
tell you guys right now, I am in love with this mascara because it looks like I have fucking lashes. Like you can tell that I actually have lashes on. And the fact that they are very separated, there are a few spots that are kind of like clumped together, but I just really like the fact that these lengthen my lashes. They mostly keep a curl. Like this curl will stay for a few hours. And not only that, but they separate my lashes and it doesn't smudge, budge, or run. And so I feel like this is my mascara. Like I've finally found a mascara that does everything that I like and it holds up throughout the day. All right, so that's basically all I do for my makeup these last couple of weeks, months, whatever you wanna call it. I just don't like a lot of makeup on my face whenever I have to go out because the mask, again, that's already an added layer of suffocation to your skin. And then if you have this really, really thick layer of makeup that again is suffocating your skin, adding to the mask knee and all that other stuff. And if you're one of those people who keep wearing your mask continuously over and over the same mask, that's another thing that's gonna add to your mask knee. So please, please, please take the tips that I have offered into consideration with the masks and try not to wear them several times before you throw them out. Now, I know it looks like my lips are a little bare and that is because they are. I don't add anything to my lips unless it's lip gloss or lip balm because nobody is seeing my lips, you guys. Nobody should be able to see like this whole area of your face. So I don't really worry about that, but just for shits and gigs, I'm gonna add the ColourPop Ultra Glossy lip this is in the shade well nested and I'm just gonna add just a teeny bit to kind of give myself a little bit of hydration this is basically what I do on a day-to-day -day basis not day-to-day -day, because I don't go out all the time but whenever I need to go and run errands and do something quickly to where I'm wearing a mask and I need to go outside this is the amount of makeup that I wear I've actually really been loving it because I feel like I look more natural than I usually do in videos way past where I'm wearing like a full face of makeup I feel like I look just more fresh this way I look more natural I look uh, younger as well because I don't have a crap ton of high coverage concealer foundation so much powder and eyeshadow and you know all this heavy bulky stuff so I feel like this has just been my go-to summer look for most of the summer now all the products that I use will of course be listed in the description box below I am going to try to get better at doing a video plus the eyeliner reviews uh, so two videos in a week Tuesday and Thursday I am just really trying to get kind of like my mental state in order. A lot of things have been kind of difficult for me lately just because of the whole virus thing. I feel, I don't know, I know everybody's going through it in different ways and dealing with it in different ways, but I just, ever since like the beginning of summer, I just haven't been able to put my mind into what I've been doing. So I apologize if my videos don't seem as great quality as they used to, or maybe I talk a lot more and they're longer. It's just, I feel like I have a lot to share with you guys and I just want to talk, like if that's okay. <laughs> but I just, uh, I, just, I don't know what it is, but like I am just stumbling on my words. I can't really think properly. My mind is always going at a thousand miles an hour. Um, I'm not really getting a lot of sleep. As of right now, I am just, my mind's here here, there, everywhere, and I honestly can't control it. So I apologize if my videos are very chatty, very long, very um, here, there, everywhere. I'm just really trying to get everything um, in order, especially this noggin, this fucking brain that's just like taking a shit on me already. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, please hit a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when my videos are uploaded. And as always, if you have any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or if you simply wanna talk shit, leave it on the comment section below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.